Hello everyone. The topic which we are going to discuss about today is Python technology. Okay. So, as a prerequisite to this particular course, you don't need any prior knowledge about any programming language. Okay. If you have knowledge about some other programming language, it will be easier for you to understand. But it is okay. Even you don't have any idea about any pre any uh, um, programming language, it's it's good. There is no issues for that. Okay. So pretty much I'm going to cover from the beginning. So at the end of this course, you you'll be able to uh, write a programs with the help of uh, strings or variable or different kind of data types and oops and, and all the um, parameters actually. Okay. So what are the prerequisites? Right? As I said, there is no need any prior knowledge. Okay. And we'll go step by step. The first thing what you need is install Python. Okay. And second is IDE and third what we're gonna see so what doesn't matter whatever the programming language is there are some basic stuff which you need to know before you proceeding into the complex stuff okay so here once we enter into the uh, Python so I, I do I have a Python installed in my machine and I have ID what else I need to do the first thing which we need to see as well as math functionality and following that string and then logical and data structure that's the important thing data structure and what else so the looping okay so and how to create functions in python and the major important thing is oops concept okay so we are going to discuss about each and everything in a separate topic okay so as a as a first step what we are going to do is we are going to install python so how do we do that okay so go to your browser and type python download it will take you to the python downloads link go to the link here you have a hyperlink called download python 3.7.0 it doesn't matter maybe you might have some additional version also so just download what is the latest version which is available in the download list okay just download this so it will take up some time so since i have downloaded the setup file already so i'm not going to download it again so so where it is okay software and development and python i have the setup okay so how are we going to install it okay just double click the exe file and click run okay the reason why it is showing modify repair and install i already installed python in my machine okay so that is the reason it is it is showing up okay so what basically you need to do is when the launch page appeared in your screen okay you, you don't have much things to do okay you just simply click next 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 and finish but the as a first step you need to ha click a checkbox which is showing in the first pop-up page that means your python has to be added into our ja our your machine environmental variable so that will be so you can access uh, python from any location in your local machine okay okay let me show you how it is done okay so once you double click the exe file you'll pop up the a security warning so do you want to install just click run and the next pop-up screen you'll have the installation instruction this is what i'm talking about add python 3.6 to your path since you're downloading 3.7 it will be different for each and different versions okay make sure you add python 3.6 to the path okay and then click next and ace and go up to the pro end of the process and finally the setup was successfully installed on your machine okay so okay how do i know whether i'm able to access all the uh, python from all our location i mean all our location the sense means in your local machine okay go to the common prompt so go to any drive and uh, just check whether python version if you got some proper response that means the python is installed in your machine and it will be accessible for all the locations okay so it's taking a while
Okay, die Tür ging an und... Okay, my bad. Python. Python version. See? In my local, I installed Python 3.7 and I'm able to access from my uh, D drive. Let me try from some other drive. So, I'm gonna try... Python version. See? It is accessible all the places, okay? So, this is how we need to install uh, the Python setup in your local machine. In the next video, we'll discuss about... So, how are we going to start the coding what ID I'm going to use it okay so we'll discuss in the next video thank you guys